Hey guys, welcome back to the Were Witch Project. I'm Were Witch, and this is Harry. Greetings to you, Elder Vamps, and salutations to all other human impaired. And today's video is going to be as quick as possible, showing you the Founders Pack Eldest Bloodline DLC for V Rising. There are five DLCs that we're going to be covering in this mini series. Let's get to the video. Okay, guys, the Founders Pack Eldest Bloodline is purely cosmetic. There is no pay to win with these DLCs. Some of the items we'll be covering today will not be available to you until you reach certain points of progression within the game. So try to keep that in mind. We're going to start off uh, by showing off the three unique shape-shifting variants that come with this pack. This is the first one here. This is the Stygian Wolf. Once you unlock wolf form by taking out alpha, uh, you will unlock this guy. This one's pretty cool. I like it. I like the three tails. It's neat. I usually use this one out of the different variations. <clears throat> if you do not know how to change out your different variations of your shapeshift, you will go through inside of this menu off of the vampire powers menu. Just in case you were wondering, I see that question get asked a lot. So that is how you get in to switch those out. Okay, next up is going to be the Stygian Bear. <laughs> this one's pretty cool. Uh, I like the tusks off the front. It's, uh, it's pretty neat. Yeah, I like that one. Pretty awesome. Okay, and finally, the most comical of this one is Grandma Form. And you'll notice that this looks like a specific individual in the game. And if you don't notice that this looks like a specific individual inside the game, then I will uh, speak no further of it. But this one's pretty fun. And it's got that neat sound effect. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. Yeah, I like that. It's kind of got like the old witch cackle. Very cool. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and keep it in this form and uh, rock over here to the statues. There is lots of buildables inside of the specific DLC. There are 27 different gargoyle statues, including granite, marble, and black marble variants of each kind. I have set up one of the first gargoyles, the patient gargoyle, and I have built it in the three different forms. You've got your default here, just normal stone. You've got the, um, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, black marble here. And finally, you've got the marble over on this side. Now I have built the statues in marble because I believe that you can see the detail better with the white lighting above and I even chose the wallpaper differently so that you can see the details on these a little bit better than if I would have made them in the other one. So apologies if you wanted to see these and those other kinds, maybe you gotta get the pack to see that yourself. Okay, moving right through these, um, what do we have here? We have the eldest lurking gargoyle, pretty cool, reaching out there. Next up, we have the Crouching Gargoyle. Pretty cool, pretty creepy. Next up, you've got the Pleading. I like the way he's reaching out there, I think that's neat. You've got the Pondering, rip off of the Thinker. Uh, you've got the Roaring Gargoyle here. You can see that through the candles there. Next up, we have the Agonized Gargoyle. Another cool one. And the victorious gargoyle here, as you can see, there's, there's like a villager's head in his hand. Got a pretty cool sword there. And uh, finally, the challenging gargoyle. Once again, you can build these in other colors. I chose to do this so that you could see the details. And then finally, the highlight of it, which is the dueling gargoyles. And the statue is awesome. And I always try to find a way to put this in my castles as often as possible. I normally do it in the black and then have creepy lighting around it and stuff, but that's going to be completely up to you. Okay, next up is pillar mounted statues to start off here. 
we have the oh come on come on you're gonna hover it you're not gonna hover it all right well we have six different gargoyle ornaments that come inside of this pack this is our first one here I like this one a lot. Um, I wish they would have done mirrored versions. They do not have mirrored versions of these. Uh, I think they learned that later on with the Legacy of Castlevania DLC that they, oh, we should probably put some mirrored versions of these things in. Of course, they didn't do it at the beginning. This is one of the earlier DLCs that came out. So that's why we're running into that. Here's the next one. I like this one. Dude's kind of trying to figure out his life. He's having a crisis for sure. This one's pretty wicked too. This one doesn't matter so much that it's not mirrored. I like to double these up <clears throat> during uh, like entrances and stuff like that. I also like putting them on the exterior of castles at entrances as well. I think it's pretty cool. Yep. Next up, we've got our hands out, kind of reaching out. I like that one a lot. This one's kind of got a guardian feel to it, right? He's holding a spear in his hand. I like that one as well. This is good if um, your room's feeling cramped because you can still get in a statue and, and he's kind of, you know, he's tucked up on top of himself. I like that one. And finally, another one. This is like the victorious one that we saw over on the other side. As you can see the one where he's holding his head there. And it looks like it's the same thing, except he's kind of perched or mounted to the wall. Okay, so that is all the different gargoyle ornaments and statues. Very cool stuff. I like these a lot. Uh, I, I use all of them, uh, all the different variations, and I have used um, the three different types that you can build them in as well, depending on what I'm trying to go for. Um, I put a lot of thought and time. Uh, if you guys want to see our actual castle, which is below us right now, this is like a top room that I use for showing off things and DLCs. Uh, throw that in the comments below, and I'm, I'd love to show you guys, but unless someone gives a shit, I'm not going to do it, because that's a waste of my time and yours. Okay, next up, 16 different vampire accessories to enhance your vampiric style. Let me scroll over here, make sure I'm not missing anything for you guys. <clears throat> Alright, let's jump into the mirror. So, first off, we have the Mask of Jewels. These are all going to be found in your accessories. Um, I believe that is this one right here. We're going to do a quick spin to kind of burn through these. Okay, next up is the pure golden half mask. Right there. It does look like there's a little bit of clipping with the specific face. Um, I took my normal hairstyle off before I started to record just so that you could see these a little bit better and maybe get an idea. So if this is your favorite face and you want to use this mask, you're going to see you've got a little bit of clipping right there. If you don't give a damn, you don't give a damn, but sometimes that stuff bothers me. Moving on, the horned half silver mask. Pretty cool. It's got kind of a cane thing. And as you can see, again, we've got a little bit of clipping going through right there. That's a shame. I um, don't normally wear these specific ones, so that's why I've not seen this before. So you're experiencing this, experiencing this with me in real time. Uh, I believe this one right here is the Human Half Ivory. That one's not so bad. That's not bad. I like that one. Okay, next up is the Black Leather Eye Patch. Let's find it. Do, 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 do. I am not a professional. There we go. So, yeah, if you want to do the pirate thing, there you go. Once again, you can see there's some clipping, meshing going on right there that I'm not a big fan of but I believe that some of the other facial this this specific one has lots of uh, pronounced features so I'm sure that's why that's occurring okay next up is the emerald lens glasses these ones are awesome I love those shielding on the side I'd like to have those in real life I don't know about that collar but those are bitchin I like those very cool next up is the elegant bifocals See if we can find those. I wonder if that's those. Mm, those not, might not be it, guys. And once again, my apologies for not having this together. But we can run through these. It, it might be, I wonder if it's that one. Uh, let's go ahead and move on. Inventor's frames. That's That's what I would assume that this one is. Yeah. I'm assuming, once again, I apologize. 
Next up, Scholar's Monocle. Much more positive that that one is correct. Okay, wing-tipped glasses. Maybe that's what these were. Not real sure if these are going to perk a lot of people's interest. Half Moon Spectacles. Next up, Oni's Jaw Mask. Let's see if I can find that. I bet that is in a different spot. It is. Here we go. So sorry about that. Apologies. Not a big fan of this one, too. Uh, it's just not my thing. Looks really dumb with those half moon <laughs> spectacles. So sorry. Okay. Mannequin uh, doll jaw mask. Here's all the jaw masks. And I am just not a big fan of those. Uh, Golden beast jaw mask. Assuming that would be that one. It looks like it's, there's a protrusion out in front. Okay, and then we need to go back to the accessories because the next one is the Confessor's Blindfold, which I believe is here. <clears throat> and finally, the Black Lace Veil. And some of these, you know, you just don't want to use the face I'm using. Uh, I'm sure if we switched those up, if we did a more normal face, it wouldn't look nearly as bad. <laughs> or maybe it would. Also included inside of this pack is the B Rising original soundtrack by Alexandria Magova. Original tracks available in both Wave 24-bit, 48 kilohertz, and MP3, uh, 320 kilobytes per second. Soundtrack cover artwork. Track listing is Vampires Rising, Dawn Comes, Far Bay Night, Song of Dunley, Moonlight in the Countryside, Hallowed Mountains, Kiss of Frost, Tales from the Cursed First, Forest Part 1 and Part 2, Clash of Faiths, Darkness and Light, The Castle, We Hunt, Dungeon Born, Rust and Regret, Madness Unleashed, Dystopian, Sonata, Whispers of the Wasteland, Beneath Shrouded Skies, Echoes of Despair, and Dracula's Theme. Hopefully this helps you to decide if this is for you or not. If you are a builder, I would recommend it. Uh, if you're looking for some of those accessories too, those oddball accessories for your characters, if that strikes your fancy, then you would want to um, probably pick this one up. But I think this one's more for the builders. And of course, if you're wanting to get those cool uh, Stygian shape-shifting variants. Okay everyone, that covers this DLC for V Rising. If this video helped you decide whether or not to nab this one up, let us know in the comments. And if you want to see the other DLCs for V Rising, we'll have those in our V Rising playlist that should pop at the end of this video. If you enjoyed what you saw today, maybe slap that like button, subscribe, and feel free to share our videos with a friend. That stuff helps us out more than we could ever thank you for. We've got all kinds of content for V Rising on our channel and for the games that we play on the project. We've got tips, tricks, guides, full gameplay episodes with tips peppered into them as well. Yeah, it, and Witch has wasted all kinds of time playing V Rising too. L like what, 600 some odd hours? I'd prefer not to confirm or deny that. Uh, not as much as some other games. I'll say that. So if you have any questions, leave those in the comments as well. That's right, H. I'm happy to help our community whenever I'm available. So with that being said, see you guys later. And thank thanks for watching the video. I'm supposed to say that. You're, you're off script, man. I'll say whatever I want. No, dude, there's a format that we're trying to adhere to. Adhere to a doorman? Gross. I, Maybe it's time to wash it then. I said format. Floor mat. Format. Rorschach? <laughs> you know, he's my favorite superhero. Never mind. <laughs>